<laughs> what, what I'm trying to say is that there's no point of a poignant political discussion in uh, my movie. <laughs> Especially whenever this movie doesn't have anything to do with, like, the slums or anything. This thing, th like, these drugs are put out to people who have money. Not to, like, the slums. You know, it's distributed as, like, a drug, you know. People out there who, who got it bad. But, like, to be honest, you'd have to be pretty fucking desperate, pretty fucking crazy to use one of these fucking pills and basically kill yourself. The point I want to try to say, there ain't no really... <laughs> Like, I don't hate this. Like, like you know, <laughs> like, he's totally right. If you're black, you're gonna get, you're gonna get plagued. Like, like the world, the, all the odds are totally stacked against you. But this is a stupid superhero movie, so, like, <laughs> get over yourself. This is, like, come on. <laughs> why am I, why am I, I, I'm sorry that I went on another tangent. It, that's what I do. M my mind, I don't know, short-term memory loss or something, I don't know. So, like, uh, uh, he's like, so, you know, if you don't want to go to the army, what the hell do you want to do? She's like, I rap. He laughed. I mean, I laughed at that, too. I was like, <laughs> like, you can't just, like, you can't just spit bars. So, like, my thing is, like, you can't just, you know, start spitting bars and say I'm the best rapper ever, you know? Like, it takes time and effort. But really, sort of... Sort of speaking, yeah, technically anyone can be a super ass rapper. So anyway, that yeah, crap. She starts spitting rhymes by after she was like, just, she said, give me a word. And then, uh, she, uh, fuck, Jamie Fox gave her feline first, uh, seismograph second, and antibiotic. The last one. And yeah, she got these bats some rhymes. It was a cute little moment. It was pretty cool. And he was like, that's your super bad, bruh. Use that to work the system. And he's totally right. So cool. <laughs> so then the next horrible part of the fuck is I know that I keep on being on the same image, but I, I actually don't really give a shit. The point is, the next scene in the movie happens. We're like, uh uh, you see Joseph, you know, driving off on the thing. But then you cut back to fucking uh, J Jamie Foxx and Robin, and she's like, I can navigate you. Remember the dots on the screen? I can take you there. Uh, yeah, see, this is whenever the movie was like, hmm, why is Robin still here? Why does uh, Jamie need her help? Oh, wait, he doesn't. He can read a map, you dumb fuck. This is why this movie's garbage, because he doesn't need Robin, Robin doesn't need to be in the movie, and it's complete bullshit. They forced her in there for no fucking reason. He isn't blind. He, like, he isn't blind. He isn't tired. There's nothing wrong with Jamie Foxx. And, and I'm just losing my shit over the fact that this fucking garbage movie was like, oh, oh yeah. They gotta include at least one reason for why Robin's still here. I don't hate Robin, but she's done. She served her part in the story. This is how real life works. Like, 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 what do you think this is? What do you think this is? This is, like, this real life works like this. He's done with you. That is it. After he would have done all that shit and out of the thing, he's done. I mean, he would he was already done with her after he got shot in the shoulder and all that shit and knew where the dots were. That was it. Like, I'm I'm just... I was baffled because I was like, oh, wait, maybe she has the dots or something. But then I was like, no, he can read the dots. You don't need her fucking help. This movie's shit. I fucking hate this movie. After that horrible scene of trying to even try to explain why Robin is still... Why Robin is still with fucking Jamie Foxx. Then he explains that, you know, um, uh, uh, fucking, I just, I, I just, I can't, I just can't get over it. Look, the point is, he said that he stuck a couple of soldiers, including him, inside of a thing, and he was fucking, and then they pumped radiation and they tried to fucking create superheroes, which is fucking retarded. Radiation does mutate people in, in horrible, mutilating ways. The mutations that happen are not, are not for the betterment of the person. It's horrible. Most of the time, people just die because it's radiation. It's the worst thing, you get fucking rad poisoning, you're done. You, like, you don't get superpowers from radiation. I don't know where that came from, but it is literally impossible. You don't get it from gamma rays, you don't get it from the striking of lightning, you, you don't get it from anything. You, you can't have superpowers, they're not real, they're literally impossible. Jesus fucking Christ. <sighs> so, so then, 
she asked, you know, what's your superpower? Did you take it? And then he said, yeah, I totally took it. Took the thing once, killed a bunch of people. Well, I hurt a bunch of people by accident. I'm never taking that thing again. Anyway, then he said, I had a daughter and she had the traits of me. And this does, I thought it made sense at first because, uh, fucking, you remember, uh, you remember Newt, right? You know, the dude who, who, Fireball. What I noticed is that his skin was already, like, weird and, like, ch chapped and stuff. So I was like, obviously. Um, and, and, like, hell, in that fight, he took more pills to ignite his fire again. I realized something. As you know, like, you know, if you smoke some weed, you know, it's gonna still be in your system. Like, so don't take a drug test. You gotta wait until that shit's out of your system. Uh, like, once you take, you know, like, once you take w one of them pills, like, one of, once you take one of them pills, and you get your superpower, you are always going to get that same superpower over and over and over again. It's an everlasting effect, but, but, here is where the stupidness comes into play. Since he had a superpower, yes, that superpower would be passed down to his child, you know, because of genes and stuff, I guess. That, that does make sense on, like, a superficial level, sure. I mean, to be honest, his child probably should have died. Probably shouldn't even be allowed to have children anymore. But let's just say it was possible. Again, the kid would need to take a pill because that's the only way that he's allowed to use his superpowers is with the pill. And technically, it's not really like a superpower. It's like genes that are spliced within him. Like, ch change shit. In fact, to be honest, as I said, with my explanation of what the power really is, well, the pills, the way that the pills work is that it just completely rearranges everything in your body, all your DNA, and makes it different somehow. It makes you control some other weird thing. Like, that's what it does. And most of the time, it just kills you. No, no, no. In fact, it will kill you no matter what stupid power you get. You are going to die if you continue to use the pill because it is a drug guy. <clears throat> uh, I just... So, like, the point is, I just, like, I can't stress this enough, that he needs to take the pill in order to use his powers. And again, now that I realize it, I mean, technically speaking, if you use... I mean, like, this means that, like, superpowers are laid dormant in people, basically. That's what it- that's what this means. It's basically what this is. It's, like, infamous. You know, like, like, it's- It's like conduits from infamous or whatever. But the point is, like, this doesn't make any sense to me. I'm like, every time whenever you take a pill, you should actually get a different power. It shouldn't even be the same one, technically speaking. So, you know what? None of this makes any sense. But let's just say that for some reason you would always get the same power because of you. It's your... Because let's just say that the pills aren't, like, different. They are all the same. But once they're ingested into a different person, the affect, the effect is different. But all the pills are the same. So if he took a pill, it would always, he would always have the same power. But as I just said, the only way for him to unlock his power is to take the pills. So his daughter would be the same way. She would have to take the pills. There's no way that she would just grow up and have superpowers. That doesn't make any sense. It doesn't make any sense. I don't care what you say. I, I don't care what you say. It doesn't make any sense. <sighs> Wait a minute. I forgot to tell you that he also has another PTSD fucking flashback. and almost fucking crashes in his own car. And then you see the entire event of what happens whenever his daughter was taken. And like he said before, this flashback, he was like, and like my daughter had power, so then they had to take my daughter because they wanted to experiment on her. And as I just told you, that doesn't make any sense. Like now that I realize it, it doesn't make any sense. She would need to take the pill. I'm sorry, like that doesn't make. She would need to take the pill, just like him. So anyway, like they come to the, uh, they come to the place that was on one of the dots. <clears throat> anyway, they come to the place that was on one of the dots. Fucking, uh, yeah, fucking, uh, Jamie Foxx gives fucking, uh, Robin a, the, the keys to a motorcycle, and he's like, that's your fee, you know, paid your debt or fucking whatever, and then he's about to walk in, and then she tries to walk with him, and I love Jamie Foxx's response, he's like, dude, this is real life, you wanna fuck motherfucker die? He's like, stay here, stay here, you dumb fuck, okay? Anyway, he walks on up in, and you know, motherfucking kills the dude who's like, hey dude, you ain't on the list. He's, he fucking kills the bouncer and walks on in. So Jamie Foxx walks in and he hears one of the drug lord dude who's selling all the, the, the pills 
talk to the girl who's trying to sell him to, you know, the rich girl. And he's saying stuff like, um, the fucking octopus can camouflage itself and they're dislocating bones and turning water into plasma. Now, you're gonna learn about the turning water into plasma. Now, you know, I don't know everything about every animal, but that sound made up whenever I heard it. I was like, wait, well, turning water into plasma? That, that's fucking impossible. Like, I've heard of things that can sting you, things that have electricity and shit like that. That's like the maximum, like, weird shit that I've seen in animals. But turning water into plasma? That sounded legit made up. <laughs> but anyway, they're trying to explain that, oh, they're ta they took animal genes and put them into them. But, no, no, no. But then he said, unlock your power today. And then I was like, but that doesn't make any sense. Every human is technically inherently the same. All that's different, really, is that we have different skin tones. That's, like, legit it. And like, I don't know, maybe some of us are taller, some of us are smaller, some of us will be fat. Some of us got big ass lips, some of us got small ass lips, some of us got big ass noses, some of us got small ass noses, but it doesn't really matter. We're all human, there's nothing really too different about us. Especially if we're talking about genes that are latent, like latent abilities, like I said before, like abilities locked underneath. I'm like, but that doesn't make any sense. There's no way that we have certain abilities from animals and not all of them. If we're all cut from the same cloth, and I'm not talking about humans, I'm talking about animals, bugs, everyone. I mean, we all are. We are all cut from the same cloth, but we all have subtle differences. But if we really are all cut from the same cloth, then technically speaking, as I said before, once you unlock your power, you shouldn't be killed by your power. And once you unlock your power, you should be able to change it. In fact, you should have every ability pretty much, if that's what he's saying, because we're all cut from the same cloth. So it doesn't make any fucking sense. This entire idea is stupid now. Now, now that I realize it, this thing was doomed to fail. It doesn't make any sense. Then again, maybe I'm retarded and I just don't understand science. So, you know, Joseph's back. <laughs> well, like he arrives and there is one good thing that I like about this show. Robin didn't go into the fucking place with fucking, you know, uh, 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 Jamie. She didn't arrive in there and magically save him. Because, you know, they're best buddies and he totally needs her. No, no, no. She stood outside. So that is one props that I, that, that I give to the movie. Not going to follow that stupid trope of, I'm not going to stay outside. I can help you. I'm your partner and all that shit. Anyway, Joseph says, what the fuck, man? You can't be helping him. And she's like, he just wants to find his daughter. And he's like, dude, he's totally lying to you. He's lying to you. And, you know, it's, it's pretty good. You know, of course Joseph's going to think that. He's the super cop. He's got to think like that. Anyway, let, let, let's get back to the next scene. So then the drug lord shows someone having ice powers. And again, as I just said before, if there really is an animal out there that can control its temperature, it really doesn't matter, which is exactly why I like, why I like that like she turns really cold and like the, the tank, there's like a tank that like makes heat for her, you know, so that she can't, you know, freeze to death entirely. <laughs> I also love that he says to, to the woman who's trying to buy the stuff, he, he, he says, it's just like frozen. It wasn't too cringy. I actually chuckled because I laugh at bullshit. But anyway, <laughs> anyway, so y you know what Jamie Foxx is gonna do? He starts killing folks. I mean, I mean that's a no-brainer. He just starts killing everybody in the fucking room, and uh, it's like the temperature in the tank goes off, and she starts to freeze to death. And you know, as soon as the girl died, I was just like. So, you know, Jamie Foxx, after he's done killing everybody. And he's like, I, I, I don't know, I'm just a drug lord. And then he shoots off his hand and it was fucking hilarious. I, I, I fucking loved it. So anyway, then the drug lord tells him that there's a ship called the Genesis and you know, the pills are there. And Jamie Foxx keeps on asking, is my daughter there? Anyway, then Joseph comes in, he's like, bruh, I'm NYPD or, or whatever. <laughs> and, what an N-O-P-D or something. Anyway, he fucking comes in there. He's messing up the stuff. And, well, not really. It's not like he shoots Jamie Foxx or anything. He's, he's just being a super cop, you know. Anyway, um, so the fucking uh, uh, the drug lord dude takes one of the pills and then turns into a giant hunchback person. They run out and they shoot uh, flammable gas canisters or fucking whatever. And the motherfucking dude dies, and they also teleport outside the building before it can explode. I fucking hate that in movies, but whatever. 
So Joseph arrests, uh, you know, uh, fucking Jamie Fox. And Robin's like, me, 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 me. And then fucking uh, Robin somehow happens on to Biggie. I mean, it sort of makes sense. Like, there was this big explosion, and, and like, the dude had the pills. And Biggie works with the pill people. Even still, I think it's just a little convenient that she found Biggie, but whatever. But then she gets onto a motorcycle and starts chasing after him. He doesn't know that she's there, but still, she's not but a dumb fuck. She's like, like, what the fuck? Like, who is she? Like, she wants to be a hero? Like, I'm a good dude, right? And, like, I would always love to go on an adventure, but as soon as there's guns and death involved, I'm not going on an adventure anymore unless I'm bulletproof, unless I have superpowers. If I can go home, I'm going home. I ain't that adventurous. Like, come on. Wait, why, why am I still in this image? Oh my god. So then you see uh, one of, uh, you know, Jamie Foxx's greatest abilities, clairvoyance. And he sees into the future and he's like, you know, um, obviously your boss is leading you into a trap and you're going to die. It turns out Jamie Foxx is right. Who knew that Jamie Foxx was a psychic? Like, wow. Anyway, I said, I've said i said it once, I've said it a hundred times, I love fucking Joseph Gordon-Lovett because I love his performance, and he's right, like, like he's like, what do you need? And Jamie Foxx is like, this ain't your fight. And he's like, bruh, this is my city, bitch. I gotta take him down. It's so cool. I, I, he's the super cop. He's the greatest. He's the only part of the movie that I like. I hate every other part of this movie. This is the only part of the movie that's good. Because now that I really start to think about it, like, I was gonna review this entirely different. Now that I think about it, None of this shit makes any sense. The pills don't make no sense. None of this shit makes any sense. Like, if it awakens dormant genes within you, I'm like, why does it only awaken certain ones? Because like I said, like, only people only have certain powers. And that's not how humans work. If humans are all cut from the same cloth from animals, same cloth, t c cloth from animals and bugs and trees, which they are, then that would mean that they would gain every ability that is, un that is beneath them, you know? Or maybe you'd need to take more pills in order for that to happen. But, no, that remains to be seen. I mean, I literally watched Fire Dude take, like, five pills, and, I mean, he exploded. He, he didn't become any hotter. He exploded, so... It's fucking stupid. <sighs> okay, so, I just realized that my video was an hour long. So, I'm gonna keep this short. They make it to the ship. It's some pretty... Uh, like, the action's still pretty weird. I mean, like, it's not bad, but eh, it's nothing special. Again, Joseph is legit the best part of it all. Anyway, they try to get in. Like, Jamie Foxx gave himself up. Like, like to, to get in there, you know, like, as a, as a trick, you know. Anyway, also his daughter just sounds annoying to me. That, that's just my opinion. That's just my opinion. I don't know. Her, na her, her noise. <laughs> her noise. Her voice is just... Eh, eh. And, oh my god. As I said before, I'm just tired of Jamie Foxx saying, oh no, they stole my children, I gotta do this for my children. But there is, like, it's like, they, they, they like, I do love how they use Robin. Robin is, since she has no powers, she's just a dumbass kid. She's just the reception person, and she starts controlling the doors of, like, the boat and stuff, she, uh, making alarms go off and stuff like that. I do love how they use Robin. She's not some super powered person who's helping them out and knows kung fu. She's just, she's just a kid. Then again, there is like this moment where like she fucking uses a lamp to knock out a guy, and I'm like, what? I mean, like, like, you know, it's not that easy to be knocked out. Like, 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 come on, it's not that easy. Like, I've banged my head on shit before. I've fallen off from high places. Okay, like, did no, I didn't? Nah, I think did I ever fall off? Like, anyway, I fell down the stairs once. I hit my head a bunch of times. I didn't get, I didn't get unconscious. I didn't, I didn't even get a concussion. <laughs> fucking, it's just stupid. And there's like other people that they fight in the thing. There's like this dude who can like retract his bones, I think. Or maybe he's like stretchy, don't know. There's like this other dude with super strength. They kill him. Um, there's this other dude who can like push his bones out. Kind of like bone claws, but like they're on his like elbows and stuff. <sighs> anyway, this is literally the worst part of the movie. Everything culminates with the scene where he says, I'm just like a snapping uh, shrimp, or the pistol shrimp. It has a lot of names, but the point is, uh, Jamie Foxx says that he has the power of the snapping shrimp. But here's the thing. See, the snapping shrimp, and, and I watched the scene, and it's, it's just fucking retarded. It says, 
that like, you know, he can like, it like snaps like so hard, like with its, you know, you know, like with its claws that it literally like plasmas fucking water pretty much. But whenever I watch the scene, it's, he wasn't snapping. He was just waving his arms around. If you wave your arms around really fast, it's not going to create plasma. That's not how it works. It's like the, the snap itself created it. It was the snap. I looked it up. Look it up. Just look it the fuck up. It doesn't make any sense. They could have just said that his power is energy uh, projection or like energy absorption and projection. Because as I said, none of this makes any sense to be tied with fucking animals. None of that makes any sense. Like, Jesus Christ. I guess the, like I said, like, deep down inside, I'm like, the only way it really makes any sense is that the drug recreates your body. And that, you know, you have a superpower. And if you take the drug again, it'll be the same superpower. But, like, to me, I'm like, that still doesn't make any sense. I'm like, it may, like, it restructures you. But then again, I guess maybe it really does. Like, since it restructures you, the only way for that restructuring to truly activate again is by taking another pill. So yeah, I guess I could say that. After your DNA is messed with, the the effects still are there, but you need to take another pill in order for it to happen again. So whenever you take another pill, it doesn't rewrite all your DNA. And instead of you being super strength, you have fire. Instead of that, you still have super strength. So anyway, I'm just going to say that, that Jamie Foxx's... You know, power is just energy projection and absorption. Anyway, yeah, that entire movie was garbage. It fucking sucked. My video's getting just way too long. I, I gotta end it. Um, wow, this is actually my longest video on the channel. I went in depth with this movie. I know that I pretty much skipped the most of the ending, but it's it's not really important anyway. They kill the the, the evil lady. They, they they stop the stuff. Well, not really. I mean, the pills are still gonna be distributed. They had the fights, they did the stuff, Jamie Foxx's power didn't make any sense, it was all just a bunch of bullshit, and I hated that movie. The only part of the movie that was good was, jo was Joseph Gordon-Levitt. Everything else was complete garbage. Such a generic- no, 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 this is a garbage movie. Like, Jesus, it's so fucking bad. Like, I have a scale. Like, a movie can be perfect, good, average, bad, and garbage. This movie is fucking garbage! Fucking garbage. I hate it. Uh, good night.